Hey everybody, hopefully you made your mbot now and you guys are ready to code it and get going. All right, so first you're gonna to go to the mbot website. You're gonna click on that first link. It should be mblock.makeblock.com slash en dash us demo. Once you're there, go all the way to the bottom and you should see M link for Chromebook. Okay, as long as you're Chromebook, you're gonna do that. Click on download. It'll send you to the downloading part uh, for the app. I already downloaded it, so mine says launch, but yours should say download app. Click on that, and we're gonna be launching it. While you're waiting for it to launch, or whatever, you should have your USB cable ready so you can plug in your Mbot. So grab your USB, plug into your computer, and then you're gonna plug it into your Mbot. Okay. Also, while you do that, let's also turn this Mbot on. So I'm gonna click it on, and it should light up or something like that to show you that it's on. Okay, now what you're gonna do is we're gonna connect this to the software here or the program. Okay, so we should have Cyber PI right here. And then we should have something like connect your device. So when we press connect, something should pop up and you should have two options, USB or Bluetooth, highly suggest USB. Uh, so you're gonna click on USB and now it should be connected. To test it out, let's just go up here and play the first line of code or block of code. So I'm gonna click that. So when I press this button, this mbot here should say hi. There we go. Hi. Nice. Uh, we could change it. Let's have it sigh. Hi. Okay, so we can see it's connected. Now that it's connected, all of these different things are different coding blocks that you can make it do, but we wanna add some. So over here in extension, click on extension. And you want to add a few more, like making it move. So we're going to click add the pocket shield. And then we're going to add the MBOT2 shield. And then we're going to add the ultrasonic sensor. So this allows you to code more things into your MBOT. So now when you scroll down to see what you can code, there are a few more things here. So I'm going to click on the MBOT2. And one of the first things that you see here, is, and I'm going to put it over here, is move forward at 50 RPM for one second. We're in live mode, so once I click on this, this thing's gonna move. I'm gonna hold it up so it doesn't like run away, but once I click on this, it should go 50 RPM for one second. Okay, and I could change it if I wanted to go faster, I would go 100 uh, RPM, I think it's revolutions per minute, and then I'll do it for two seconds. So once I click on this, now it should go longer, faster, and longer. And then, you know, we're just learning to code. This is gonna be more on the next video, but we can add these two blocks to it. But now it'll go forward and then it'll turn left. Okay, so anyway, just play around with it, see what you get. But before you finish with this video, we're gonna make an account. So I'm gonna uh, just try to save this. And by saving this, I'll make an account. So I'm gonna call it testing and I'll click save. And then it's gonna ask you to log in. Just click on your G button here so it'll connect with your Gmail, okay? I'm gonna connect it to my Gmail account, but connect it to whatever your Gmail account is so that you can always save your work. So I'm connecting uh, here, and then it's connecting. So remember, before you ever X out, always save your work so that whenever you are, wanna work on this again, you have all of your work and all of your coding and it's not gone away. All right, play around with it, have fun, and in the next lesson, I'll be showing you guys how to move around with your Mbot using coding. Thanks for watching, everyone.